What's up, nigga? Last night, I'm in my trailer just being a great human being, and I hear this meth head outside say, No, I told you, I'm not leaving. The car stays here. So I draw my tin, and I see this white guy, white meth head, maybe, I don't know, under 40. And I look on the other side out my other window, and he's yelling at nobody. I don't see anybody out there. So I'm already like annoyed because it's late and I'm still up. Sometimes I just can't sleep. Sometimes I'll stay up till four, five, six o'clock in the morning. I go to my drawer and I realize I don't have my flare gun. It's in my van. And I'm like, oh crap. Now in my trailer, I have a knife that I will gut you like a fish if you so much as dare even ask me what time it is. I have a can of wasp spray, which is pretty damn good. I would say wasp spray is better than all small cans of mace, but it's not nearly as good as that bear spray that shoots out like yeah. But if you want one of those big canisters, things, that's what I have. But of course, that canister is in the van. And then I realized, I'm like, I don't really have like a straight up weapon in my trailer. So since I was already there, I went to Walmart and I bought this. So I got two flare guns now. I got two. <laughs> See, here's the thing. Um, some of you guys um, out there that watch my channel, uh, you watch my uh, adventures. Uh, you think I'm funny. Some of you think I'm cute. A lot of you uh, people want to be like me. You wish your life was like mine, but you can't because you got married to a wife or a husband and you got kids and you're trapped in your marriage and you wish you could just set fire to your house while your family's inside and flee the United States. But you can't because you're stuck because you made bad decisions on having ch children and betting down with somebody that turned out to be uh, the utmost fucking loser in the whole universe. So anybody out there that wants to protect yourself and you don't want to carry a gun either because you can't because you're a convicted felon or or maybe just you know guns scare you i'm telling you guys i stand by this this might be the best self defense weapon from somewhat long range that you could buy that is not a gun. Now, maybe a BB gun might be better, you know, and I actually do have a BB gun and I probably should just keep it where I just air it up as soon as I hear something stupid happening outside my van, right? But let me tell you something. The reason why this is, in my opinion, the best thing is because it's loud as hell, right? It's loud as hell. And when you hit somebody with it, it hurts. I mean, it says on the package, uh, you know, don't, don't misuse can cause death or serious injury, which is what I want to happen. I want to cause death and serious injury. I don't want you messing with me. I don't go around here messing with people. I don't go out here bothering anybody. I mind my own business. I'm a quiet guy, believe it or not. And I just stay where I'm at. But if you're going to come with your meth head ways, coming in my vicinity, start yelling and stuff. Yeah, you're going to get a hot 400 degree ball of fire right up your asshole. That's what's going to happen. So just uh, be wary uh, to any and all out there. I mean business when I say if you mess with me, you're going to be uh, riding in an ambulance on a trip of a lifetime to your local hospital. You meth head bum.